Hello, Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity, and today we're going to talk about a topic I've talked about often, and that is concussions, especially or specifically concussions in kids. And it's never good when our head gets rocked, regardless of the reason, whether it's a sports concussion, whether it's a trip and fall, anything. Our brain is not designed to be rattled inside our skull. Um, and uh, obviously, I can't help but watching any action flick and all that keeps running through my head is the constant head trauma in any action flick. And this, like, you know, uh, maybe I'm just looking too much in depth at how many people, how many action heroes can get hit upside the head 20 times in a single, you know, two hour movie. But um, it's becoming clear what we need to do to recover better. And I certainly see my being in the martial arts for a long time, including, uh, you know, MMA and kickboxing and jujitsu. Like I see head traumas often, and uh, anything we can do to recover better and faster is always a good idea. Because head trauma, post concussive, uh, post traumatic brain injury, all of these things can really just create an awful lot of problems. Also, car accidents. I see a lot of car accidents in patients who have had trauma during car accidents. So this particular study looked at 16, 1,630 kids aged 5 to 18 years of age. And um, this was kids who presented to the Canadian Emergency Room. So it's from Canada, so take that with a grain of salt. But um, they looked at how many, like whether missing school missing more days of school, specifically they looked at less than three days, so kids who only missed zero, one, or two days, did they do better than kids who missed more school? And they found that the, um, the and they, they asked them 14 days later how many people are solving symptoms, and they found that the kids who went back to school earlier did better. They had less, um, less symptoms after 14 days. And this was a, there's a questionnaire that you can give to people who have had head trauma. And this one specifically geared towards children and asking, and their scores were better um, in the kids who went back to school sooner. Now that could have something to do with, you know, maybe they weren't as injured and so they were able to go back to school. This, this study doesn't necessarily tease that apart. However, we do know that people that return to movement sooner generally do better. So it would make sense that these kids who go back to school sooner and start to engage their brain and instead of sitting at home in a darkened room doing whatever they would be doing, uh, it would make sense that these kids would recover faster. Um, you combine that with, um, we call it sub-threshold sub uh, uh, sub exercise. So like if you're on the treadmill and maybe five miles per hour brings on a headache, well maybe you drop it down to three miles an hour and continue with that. But can, but moving and moving sooner is good for the brain. We can look at things like melatonin, we can look at things like potentially CBD, um, hyperbaric oxygen, uh, magnesium, especially specifically magnesium 3 and 8. Like there's a variety of things that we know that can help speed up healing of head trauma. And but when we throw all those in, it also means that we are probably protecting the brain for the long run because people who've had concussions are more likely to have things like seizures down the line or um, or even cognitive decline or Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. So uh, anything we can do to protect our brain as, as soon after a concussion as possible is always a good thing. As always, I will post a link to this particular study in the de description. Uh, make sure you share this video with somebody who think needs information and subscribe to the channel.